Hello students, it's Mr. Bowman. It's a little late in the day for it. Um, I debated doing them on the weekends, but then I did say every day, so it's like, well, I guess I should do a video every day, even the weekend. I'm wearing, and I'm like, I don't wanna overhype it, an amazing Bob's Burgers shirt. It's the, uh, the Belcher family, there they are. This shirt is, I mean, it's, you don't have to say it. it's amazing. I know it is. It's amazing. I wish I had drawn it. I didn't draw it. I can't take any credit. I did try to paint today watercolors. I did not do a good job. I'm not going to show it to you. Um, here's what I'd like to do today. I want to read you a poem. I think we don't read enough poetry in life, and it's a really good one, and I think it's one that will help us kind of look at today a little more, and then I want to talk about that poem just a little bit. It's very short. It's by Rita Dove, and it's very beautiful. It's called For Sophie who will be in first grade in the year 2000. This is how it goes. No bright toy, this world we've left you. Even the wrapping is torn, the ribbons grease-flecked and askew. Still, it's all we have. Wait a moment before you pick it up. Study its scratches, how it shines in places. Now love what you touch, and you will touch wisely. May the world in your hands brighten with use. May you sleep in sweet breath and rise always in wonder to mountain and forest, green gaze and silk cheek. Dear Sophie, little phoenix. It's beautiful. There's a lot going on. And it's worth talking about for a second. So it's for this very young girl. And it's talking about her future and all the things she has to look forward to. No bright toy, this world we've left you. So it's this idea of a gift and the world that this little girl's inheriting as she gets older. Um, no bright toy. So maybe she wouldn't see the appeal of it at first. It's not brand new. It's not shiny in the way we expect a gift to be in that sense. Even the wrapping is torn. The ribbon's grease-flecked and askew. Even the wrapping is ripped. There's grease spots on the ribbon. It's all kind of disheveled. Still, it's all we have. Maybe you wanted something else. Maybe you wanted something new, but this is what we have to give you, and this is what you're getting. Wait a moment before you pick it up. But before you grab it roughly, just look at it. Consider it for a moment. Study its scratches, how it shines in places. This is interesting because it kind of... Seems like it's in contrast to that no bright toy thing that it shines in places. But this isn't shining because it's brand new. This is shining from use, we're going to see. This is a thing that's the worn spots on this world. Now, love what you touch, and you will touch wisely. When we're given something precious, we should be careful with it. If we love it, we'll touch it wisely and we'll take care of it. And that's the world that we're presenting to this little girl, and that... I and many others are presenting to all of you. May the world in your hands brighten with use. Will you use the world in a way that improves it and makes it even better, that makes it more magical? May you sleep in sweet breath and rise always in wonder to mountain and forest, green gaze and silk cheek. Will everything that you encounter be wonderful from your first moments when you awake and even in your sleep. Dear Sophie, little phoenix. Now the phoenix is a, it's an allusion to mythology, right? It's the bird that rose up from the ashes and was made anew through all the worst things, through its death, essentially. Now, I was thinking about this poem today because of what we're doing. I want to do a poem, and lots of poems tend to be kind of, I'm kind of sad, kind of melancholy. This one has a little bit of melancholy to it, but it's ultimately, I think, really hopeful and really instructive, particularly for something right now when I think we're feeling a little melancholy and could use some hope. It's beautiful. What will you do with this world we're handing you? It's a little worn. It's a little beat up. But it's still wonderful. It's still worth pursuing. So worth thinking is great. So that's Rita Dove. She's wonderful. She's worth reading. Um... We need more poetry in our lives, and I need to bring more female authors to you, so I'm glad we can do uh, both today. I was going to read some Margaret Atwood poetry. Margaret Atwood is awesome. She's just unbelievably great. She's more known for her novels. Her novels are great. I'm not knocking them. They're brilliant. 
but she does not get enough credit for her poetry. Her poetry is so good. It's so beautiful, but it is often quite sad and brutal. So, uh, waiting on a little bit. We'll do another day because we are going to read some of hers. Uh, two poems of her in particular. She often writes poems that are in conversation with one another. Now, if you're looking for something to watch, on Hulu, there's a new documentary about her called A Word After a Word After a Word is Power. Um, if you search Atwood, I'm sure it'll pop right up. Um, I actually have not watched it yet. I've heard great things about it. I've not seen it yet, so I can't give an all-out recommendation on it. Um, I don't know what the content is, so I don't want to suggest anything that will upset families. I, I'm not... I can't vouch for it in those ways, but we will be talking about her, and she's a really important person and an incredibly important author. She really deserves a lot more praise than she gets, and that's saying something because she gets a lot of praise. Um, I also want to talk about things you can do. Now, a lot of people have been talking about wanting to garden and gardening. I hear that a lot on uh, social media, and I've been taking to gardening, but what if you don't have supplies to go gardening? What if you can't get to... Home Depot, if you don't have the stuff to, or if you don't have a way to get there. Well, when life gives you lemons, make a lemon tree, kind of. This is a little Tupperware I had in my house. It's not a flower pot, it's a little tiny Tupperware. Now, I took some soil from one of the house plants in my house, but there's, you know, dirt around in a field, and I took some, I took a, two seeds from a lemon I was eating, and I planted them. Now, a lemon tree would take a long time to grow. Well, whatever, I got time. Let's do it, let's see what happens. I think maybe you should try growing some things. If you just have a little cup, uh, rock it today, put a flower that we dug out of a field. Uh, it was growing in sand, so it can't need much. We took some of the sand, we took the roots, and we put it in a plastic cup that we had, like a disposable cup, and it's his new pet flower. Pet's not quite right, but it's, uh, it's his new flower. He's very excited, he loves it very much. So maybe go out there, grab something, dig it out of a field, That'd be fine. You can leave your homes during all this. You just can't be around other people. So as long as you're keeping your social distances, um, you'll be good. Go and, you know, get a flower. Take care of it. It's nice. It helps us feel connected and hopeful to watch something grow during all this time. I'm still waiting to find out more from district about what instruction will look like. In theory, we will be finding that out uh, Monday, maybe Tuesday. And we'll move on from there. But I'm really enjoying doing these videos with all of you. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Hopefully hearing a poem was nice. Uh, keep in touch. Email me if you need anything. I'm always glad to see your comments. When you comment on this, though, it's worth noting, you all use fake names on here, and you seem to think I know who you are to your fake names. I have no idea who you are with your fake names. So if you really want me to respond, like, <laughs> tell me your actual name. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to. All right. All the best. I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow.